this question we've got two spinners and we're spinning spinner A, spinning spinner B and multiplying whatever we get as uh, the answer. So to complete the table, we just need to do 4 times 9 here to give us 36 and 5 times 9 to give us 45. That's, this is called a sample space diagram. So Jeff wants to work out the probability that the outcome of the multiplication is an even number or a prime number. And he does this with his working. Um, and although this is correct, because there are six even numbers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is correct, because there are three prime numbers, two, five, and three, um, we can't, we got to explain why he's wrong. So I sort of jumped ahead to that, explain why he went wrong. And actually, he's, he's counted two twice, because two is an even number, and two is a prime number. So the answer is that, um, even and prime are not mutually exclusive events. Or I'm just going to write are not mutually exclusive. That is, they can happen at the same time. So I think mutually exclusive is a good way word to throw in here, but you probably would get away with saying, you know, they just can't happen at the same time. And the correct answer, therefore, is the fact that we've sort of double counted for the two. And so it's going to be 8 over 12.